Hi, I'm Josh, I also go by Starduck, and this is my 3 minute Griffin guide. I play ranked around mid to high diamond, and I've been playing a ton of Griffin since he came out, and I've been winning a fair amount with him. So far I absolutely love him, and here's what i found to be the best ways of playing him. His entire gameplay revolves around getting to the point where you can threaten with your kick. This doesn't always mean throwing the kick, but just getting to the point where it's an option. These are the three best ways I've been using to get to the kick. The first and easiest way to do this is just to land a light. And the same as Warden, if you throw another light from the same direction, it's guaranteed. This lets you then press Guard Break to use your kick, and when the kick lands it guarantees a top heavy for 28 damage, and with the two lights in addition, that's a 43 damage combo. The second way to get your kick, and in my opinion the strongest, is by using the side dodge heavy attack. This can be immediately followed up with a kick. The kick then goes into the top heavy punish for 44 damage overall, which is pretty good. And what makes this so strong is you can follow up with the kick even when the attack is blocked, or even when the attack misses altogether. The third and final way to get to his kick is by shoving. The shove is used by pressing back and guard break at the same time, the same as Lordbringer's long arm. When you land the shove, you get guaranteed light, which can then be chained into the kick, into the top heavy punish for 41 damage overall. It's important to remember with this method, however, that unlike method 1, you don't get a second guaranteed light, so just throw the kick after the first guaranteed one hits. Now at this point you might be thinking, what should I do when my opponent starts dodging my kick? Well from here you have a few options. Instead of throwing your kick, you can throw a heavy. This is especially good if your opponent has started dodging your kick as a prediction. Instead of throwing your kick, you can also throw a light, which tracks pretty well. And instead of throwing your kick, you can also feint a heavy into a guard break, which brings us to our punishers. His punish for a guard break is a heavy for 24 damage. His punish for a wall splat is a top heavy for 32 damage. His punish for a light parry is a heavy for 24 damage. And his punish for a heavy parry is a light into another guaranteed light, which is fantastic because it also means that you can now threaten him with a kick. So those three methods of getting to your kick, and your other options you can use instead of your kick, are what I think his core abilities are that you should be using a lot. However, there are other parts to his kit which are also solid to use as mix-ups. When you're unlocked, you can sprint and heavy to flip your opponent over your head, the same way Lawbringer does with his choo-choo attack. Keep in mind, however, this doesn't guarantee the light, but you often get it anyway, which can then go into the kick. Griffin also gets a dodge forward heavy and a dodge forward light. Both are fantastic and can be used to chase down your opponent as well as be used for solid mix-ups. In addition, Griffin gets Lawbringer's top light attack and Jangjun's zone attack, which are both good options in my opinion. I'm almost out of time, so in addition, you can make him look like Centurion, Berserker, or Altair, and he has access to the best execution in the game. Cheers for watching, guys.